It was a long time ago. And yet it seems like only yesterday. So much has changed, thankfully. Some things never change, though. In either essence or principle, but they can be improved, time after time. The new 9-11. All new 911 models feature fully redeveloped engines with direct fuel injection DFI. This differs from standard fuel injection in that the air fuel mixture formation takes place entirely within the combustion chamber. Here the fuel is injected directly into the combustion chamber with millisecond precision via electromagnetically operated injection valves. The injection spray and cone angles are adjusted for optimum mixture formation and combustion. The result is improved performance, higher torque, reduced fuel consumption and lower emissions. The new 911 models thereby comply with both the EU5 emission standard in Europe and LEV2 regulations in the USA, proving that even high performance sports cars can attain modest emission levels. To sum up the 911 in figures, the entry models feature a 3.6 liter boxer engine producing 345 horsepower, 254 kilowatts. The maximum torque is 390 newton meters at 4400 RPM. This enables acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour in just 4.9 seconds. The top speed is 289 kilometers per hour or 180 miles per hour. Depending on the model, fuel consumption has been reduced by up to 13% and CO2 emissions by up to 15%. Available as an option for 911 models for the first time is Porsche Doppelkupplung, PDK. Originally developed and designed by Porsche for motorsport in the 1980s. The benefits of PDK include extremely fast gear changes with no interruption to the flow of power, faster acceleration response compared to manual transmission, lower fuel consumption, and significantly enhanced comfort. PDK is essentially two gearboxes in one. Each gearbox features a separate wet clutch where the components are continuously lubricated. Sequentially, these two clutches alternately connect the two gearboxes with the engine via two separate drive shafts, depending on the selected gear. The principle behind this is overlapping transmission. When a particular gear is engaged, the next gear is already being pre-selected in the other gearbox. One clutch opens within milliseconds while the other clutch closes resulting in a barely perceptible gear change.
whether you use the ergonomic sports steering wheel for PDK to change gear manually or drive in automatic mode. In total, PDK offers seven gears. Maximum speed is reached in sixth gear, while the seventh gear for optimized performance further reduces fuel consumption. For added dynamism in the new 911, the Sport Chrono Package Plus option provides simultaneous enhancement for the engine and chassis at the touch of a button. When fitted in conjunction with PDK, this also includes the Sport Plus button with two new functions. These are launch control for maximum acceleration from a stationary position and a motorsport-derived gear shift strategy for lightning-fast gear changes. Here's how launch control works. Engage drive and press the Sport Plus button. Then press the brake pedal with your left foot whilst pushing the accelerator down hard with the right. During kickdown, the revs are approximately 6,500 RPM. The torque increases and the clutch is applied lightly. Now release the brake as fast as possible. You really need to experience what happens next firsthand. Next, we have the motorsport-derived gear shift strategy, bringing gear shift characteristics straight from the racetrack. PDK is designed for instantaneous response with optimum gear shift change points for maximum acceleration. With PDK and with the standard six-speed manual transmission, hill start assist comes as standard. It assists the driver in making a comfortable, smooth and roll-free start after braking on an incline. For additional peace of mind, the new 911 comes with a comprehensive safety package designed to protect the most important part of the new 911. The occupants. Actively and passively. Enhanced Porsche Stability Management, PSM, is standard on all new 911 models. There are two additional functions to boost active safety. Pre-filling the brake system to maximize braking power faster. And brake assist or maximum deceleration in an emergency. On the 3.6-liter models, the brakes have been optimized further. The black anodized aluminum brake calipers are now even more rigid due to their closed construction. The brake discs have been enlarged to boost braking performance even further. As proven in motorsport, the Porsche Ceramic Composite Brake, PCCB, is available as an option. The main advantage is a weight saving of around 50% compared to standard brake discs of a similar design and size. This translates into reduced unsprung and rotating mass for enhanced road holding, braking performance and agility. What's more, PCCB minimizes brake fade under heavy braking due to consistently high friction values. The new optional dynamic cornering lights are a highly effective contribution to active safety. They can swivel out to an angle of up to 15 degrees, allowing the course of the road and any obstacles to be illuminated much more effectively. For a high level of passive safety, the new 911 models feature a total of six airbags full-size airbags for the driver and passenger, as well as thorax and head airbags as part of the Porsche Side Impact Protection System, PASA. The latest optional tire pressure monitoring system, TPM, delivers added safety and comfort. Updated tire pressures are now displayed faster each time the tires are reinflated or a wheel is changed.
For maximum ease of use, Porsche Communication Management, PCM, now comes with a 6.5-inch touchscreen. This application is functional, innovative, and simple to use. The latest PCM comprises a central control unit for radio, CD, DVD, sound settings, an onboard computer, or the optional navigation module with integrated hard drive. New options include an integrated six-disc CD-DVD auto-changer, a universal audio interface for connecting an iPod or USB stick, a digital or analog TV tuner, or a Bluetooth telephone module, as well as a new voice control for conveniently inputting navigation destinations or phone book entries. The optional Bose surround sound system can now play back music from audio and video DVDs in digital 5.1 surround sound for an impressive listening experience. New optional seat ventilation with three adjustable settings ensures outstanding comfort even when temperatures are high. A heated steering wheel, which is also available as an option, is a welcome feature on cold mornings. The drag coefficient values of 0.29 to 0.30 on the new 911 models represent outstanding aerodynamics, as well as outstanding design, two factors that are intrinsically linked at Porsche. The outer air intakes on the new front end have been enlarged for improved cooling efficiency and an even more dynamic appearance. All 911 models now come with bi-Zenon headlights, and a headlight cleaning system is standard. The indicators and LED daytime running lights and position lights are integrated in a separate front light unit for unmistakable 911 design day and night. The enlarged exterior mirrors offer an improved rearward view. The striking new taillights are drawn right into the wings and taper off to the outside. Again, they feature LED technology offering high intensity and a faster response to driver input so that following traffic is alerted earlier. The new stainless steel tailpipes are perfectly integrated into the new rear end. Entry models feature redesigned 18-inch wheels. The S designation. At Porsche, this has always meant a commitment to performance. And nothing has changed when it comes to the new 911 Carrera S. The figures speak for themselves. 3.8 liter displacement, 385 horsepower, 283 kilowatts, and maximum torque of 420 newton meters at 4400 RPM. An impressive figure is that CO2 emissions are again lowered by up to 14%, depending on the model, primarily through DFI. The 100 km per hour or 62 mile per hour mark is reached in just 4.7 seconds, falling to just 4.5 seconds with optional PDK transmission. If PDK is combined with the optional Sport Chrono Package Plus, zero to 100 kilometers per hour is reached in only 4.3 seconds. The top speed is an incredible 302 kilometers per hour, or 187 miles per hour. High power demands a superior chassis. This is the only way to transfer 100% of the output to the road. Included as standard on the S models and available as an option on the entry models, Porsche Active Suspension Management, PASM, is an electronic damping control system. It offers continuous adjustment of each wheel's individual damping forces based on driving style and current road conditions. 
The driver can choose from two basic setup modes, normal and sport. With BASM, the chassis is also lowered by 10 millimeters. Taking it further is the new optional BASM sports chassis, lowered by 20 millimeters with a mechanically locking rear differential. This delivers even greater driving dynamics, improved traction and a sportier look without significantly affecting comfort. Due to increased performance compared to the entry models, the red-painted four-piston monoblock fixed calipers are larger and strengthened. The brake pads at the front are also larger and thicker brake discs are used. Visually, the 911 Carrera S models are distinguished from the entry models by their twin tailpipes and sporty 19-inch Carrera S2 wheels. The new all-wheel drive 911 models offer superior driving dynamics and traction. As with the 911 Turbo, this is thanks to intelligent Porsche traction management, PTM. The all-wheel drive multi-disc clutch manages the power distribution to the front axle. In the case of the new 911 Carrera 4 models, this is not passive via a viscous multi-disc clutch. Instead, it is active via an electronically controlled and electromagnetically operated multi-disc clutch. Unlike a viscous multi-disc clutch, which operates only when there is a difference in the revs between the front and rear axle, the electronically controlled multi-disc clutch responds considerably faster. By continually monitoring driving conditions, PTM will optimize the distribution of power in any situation. For excellent traction on long straights, tight bends, and in the wet or snow. As standard, the mechanically locking rear differential on the all-wheel drive models also boosts traction, particularly on uneven surfaces and when accelerating out of tight bends. Handling remains predictable at the limits of performance. The rear end of the 911 all-wheel drive models is 44 millimeters wider. The rear track width, 14 millimeters wider. The new rear red reflector trim visually connects the taillights and again emphasizes the unique design feature of the wider body. Exclusive to the all-wheel drive models are the titanium-colored painted trim surround and slats on the side air intakes at the front. The trim on the underbody rear paneling and the side skirts are contrasted in black. The design for the 911 Carrera Cabriolet models is based on that of the Coupe models. They are convertibles in the classic sense, featuring fabric hoods. This saves weight in just the right place for that low center of gravity typical of sports cars and for reduced fuel consumption. The roof liner is made of heat and sound insulating textile fabric for a noise level almost as low as in the coupe, even at high speeds. 
Thanks to the hood's concertina folding action, the inner surface is well protected at all times. What's more, when it is open, all the storage space is covered. The hood is operated electrically at the touch of a button on the center console or via the key remote. It opens and closes in approximately 20 seconds, even at a driving speed of up to 50 kilometers per hour or 31 miles per hour. A wind deflector is included as standard. Performance and the dynamic driving experience are typical traits of a 911. With the new DFI engines, there is a choice of 3.6 or 3.8 liter displacement. Furthermore, the Cabriolet models are also available with all-wheel drive as the 911 Carrera 4 and 911 Carrera 4S. Naturally, our high safety standards also apply to the Cabriolet models. The torsional and flexional rigidity are exemplary for two plus two-seater Cabriolets, despite the low weight. A rollover protection system deploys automatically in the event of the car overturning to help protect the occupants. The Targa models are exclusively available with all-wheel drive, namely the 911 Targa 4 and the 911 Targa 4S. The roof concept is distinctive. A glass panel is fully integrated into the body and can be opened electrically at any speed. Even when the roof is closed, the driving experience remains unique. Side trim strips in anodized and polished aluminum highlight the roof line's elegant design. We need to change all the time. Because change leads to progress and recognizing tomorrow's opportunities. This is where our roots help us. They give us the inner strength to shape the future according to our vision. Like the new 9-11.